planet Arrakis, known as Doom. Land of sand, home of the spice melange. The spice controls the universe. Whoever controls Doom controls the spice. The Emperor has proposed a challenge to each of the houses. The house which produces the most spice controls Dune. There are no set territories, no rules of engagement. Vast armies have arrived. Now three houses fight for control of Dune. The noble Atreides. The insidious Ordos. The evil Harkonnen. Only one house will prevail. On this planet, you will die. We have seen it. But the sisterhood of the Bene Gesserit has been wrong before. From time to time. I am Lady Alara, bound concubine and truth sayer to the Padishah Emperor. I booked your passage to Dune on this Highliner. If the Emperor discovers this, I will be executed. He is not a compassionate man. You are here because of the prophecy. My sisterhood has studied your bloodline and your future. We have seen you die many times. We have also seen you rise to command vast armies, bringing peace to Arrakis. Once. That is the prophecy. That is the future we seek. House Atreides, yes, of Caladan, the water world. A fleet of ornithopters ensures the Atreides' ultimate air power and the noble Duke Leto seeks to ally with the stealthy Fremen desert warriors. If the Fremen agree, the Duke may become unstoppable. Welcome, conscripts. I am Nari Moneo, mentat to the Duke. You won't regret joining Leto's men. Not when we won Dune and we're all rich with spice, eh? Riches? Is that why you come to this bloody sand pit? Crawling with Harkonnen would rather drink your blood than their mother's milk. Filled with worms, the length of a hundred men, keeping you clinging to the safety of rocks like children. Let me remind you we are here to fight for the Duke. For the Duke! We will mine spice in the Imperial Basin, and for the Duke, we will rid this land of Harkonnen. Keep that in mind, and you'll be Dune men yet. You know you fight like a Fremen, like a desert dweller. You fight with your soul. And yet, <laughs> this will strike you as amusing. There are some who say that you arrived in an Imperial liner with the Lady Elara. You have perhaps some hidden talents? Well, no matter. The Duke will give you an opportunity to prove your loyalty. You will overtake the Harkonnen mining camp in the Imperial Basin, and you will persuade the Harkonnen to leave. And Commander, the Duke is watching you. Be very persuasive. Commander, I warrant you've pleased your duke. 
You requested you lead this mission personally. Our spies have just returned from Tuono Basin, where they observed an Ordos outpost. The Ordos say they're harvesting spice. We see more trikes than harvesters. We can ill afford to fight two houses at once, so don't initiate combat. Just harvest your quota quickly. If they dare attack, bury their base in the sand. The Ordos fled to Orno Basin like a school of little sand trout, just as we expected. We found worm hooks near Tuono, and tracks stretching all the way to the mountain. It's Fremen commander, maybe thousands. The Duke desperately wants their allegiance. The Baron wants them dead. The Harkonnen have sealed off a Fremen enclave near the mountain. Get past the Harkonnen and secure the Fremen base if you can find it. But be careful, the Fremen are not our allies. Yet. Spice coffee? Subak al-Kuhar. No poison. Look. Mmm. She'd drink it if it were poison. She's naive. Fremen death commando, never taken alive. Come, 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 come. Oh, charming, charming. She'd already sliced her wrist before your men took her Chris knife from her. We have intercepted Harkonnen reports that the rest of her kinsmen are being held at the Harkonnen barracks in Stietch Tabir. Take the base, but do not allow the barracks to be destroyed. The Duke has decided to liberate the hostages to show the Fremen that we are allies. Ta'adi Albaran, Takwa. Death, the price of freedom. To her, it is as if they are already dead. I see you survived the Harkonnen trap and found the Fremen dead. Would that you had answered my call a bit earlier. I told you. To my people, the price of freedom is death. They would not be taken by Harkonnen. We are not your allies. Dune belongs only to the Shai Alud, the Worm God. Stupid Atreides. You talk and talk of Harkonnen, yet you see nothing of the growing strength of the foul Ordos. Ah, don't you know there's a smuggler's starport hidden on the funeral plane? Our sacred ground. Destroy it and we will consider your cause. We Fremen pay our debts. Uh, don't be long. The Emperor has negotiated with the Baron. I feared an alliance. But today, my liege refused all aid to the Harkonnen. Do you understand? The Harkonnen are pulling back into the funeral plane, running like dogs. Strike now, quickly, while you have the opportunity to annihilate them. Because I would not die. A thousand men go to their deaths. My lady. You said yourself the loyal Atreides would gladly die for their duke. We're just giving them the opportunity. We? Well, thanks to your theatrics, my Sadukar will surprise the Atreides in force and generously give them a warrior's funeral in the funeral plane. Your generosity, my lord, frightens me. As well it should. Your precious truth, sir, led us into a trap. The Emperor has betrayed us. Though, uh, you did send the ruler of the known universe crawling away like a whelp to lick his wounds. Which leaves our enemies divided. We attack the weaker, the Ordos. Should the Harkonnen come to their aid, we will fight the two. Sardukar fighting alongside Harkonnen. 
It's not a stranger sight in all the galaxy. Perhaps there is. Come and look. <laughs> it seems that we are all of a mood to make friends. The Emperor has come in force this time. Even with the Fremen, we are outmatched. Our critical outposts have been divided, yet both must be reinforced and, and protected if we are to succeed in this final battle. We must fight until no Harkonnen breathes a rocking air. And with what troops we have, we must destroy the Emperor's palace. The Parisha Emperor must be brought to justice. Emperor, we come for you. I must go. I will await you aboard the ship. One drink. I am ill, my lord. I fear some kind of attack. Ah, come. To the three great houses of the Empire, who will have destroyed themselves by daybreak. We know little of the Ordos. It is said their immense fortune comes of smuggling forbidden Ixian technologies into their icy planet. Their wealth makes them paranoid, but powerful. They are masters of sabotage and trickery. They will not trust you easily. There is a 44.9% chance you are a Harkonnen terrorist. There is a 32% probability you are an Atreides spy. We will accept these odds. My name is Edrico, Mentat to the House Ordos. We will brief you on your mission. Harvest the spice. That is your mission. Avoid the Harkonnen. Avoid the worms. That is advice. You have contributed one quantity of spice to the Ordos. You are worth one quantity of spice to us. We will brief you on your mission. There is a small Harkonnen base in the Imperial Basin. Destroy it. That is your mission. The most cost-efficient program of attack will lie in the production of trikes. That is advice. Restore spice production or live out your life in a pain amplifier. That is a threat. succeeded. You are of some value. Leave us. We will brief you on your mission. The Harakonan are stalling the mining spice at our Tuono facility. They have a base and will attack. Remove all Harkonnen presence. That is your mission. Spice has great value to us. The spice must flow. That is the law. You have delivered to all now. Your value to us has risen. The Ordos lack physical strength. That is no secret. We depend heavily upon artifice. Expensive artifice. To support our we traded for many Nixian technologies. I am one such technology. An outpost of smugglers, our partners, wishes to sell intelligence regarding our resources to the Harkonnen. This must not be. Capture. 
spice productions. The nearest spice field is under Atreides control. Eliminate the Atreides and harvest the spice with maximum cost efficiency. That is the mission. Our carry-all facilities may increase your productivity. That is a recommendation. Yes, the gas is effective. You are of increasing spice value to us. You will be remunerated when Arrakis is secured. We have paid the Ixians. They are in the process of delivering many shipments. To accommodate our merchandise, we have constructed a starport in the funeral plane. Should either house discover the starport, destroy them. The starport must remain operational. That is the mission. God bless the House of Ix. They produce these things faster than I can outlaw them. But not faster than you can buy them, my lord. Say nothing. The Bene Gesserit is our ally. The Padishah Emperor plots against us. The Atreides and the Fremen fight with him. We are no match for the Sardukar army. We will acquire more spice and hire mercenaries. They are unreliable. They come and go. When the casualty count grows high, they will go. But the spice will flow. Our united enemy will be eliminated. That is the mission. Spice is powerful. It expands our sight. Our information is more perfect. No. We have weakened the Imperial Legions, but the Sardukar still fight with Leto. Push the Atreides onto our Conan land. They will annihilate each other. No. Do not depend upon our mercenaries. We will give them a base of their own. They are of questionable value. Yes. Depend upon our most recent investment. The saboteur can demolish any structure. Yes. Avoid the death hand. The Harkonnen do not think we are aware of their... atomics. We are aware of a great many things. The spice has enhanced our vision. Eradicate the Imperial threat. There is a 3.9% probability that you will survive. That is... the mission. We see the whole of it. Three great armies in ruins. The Padishah Emperor camps between the Baron and the Duke, but he is weak and hatred is strong. We see our mercenaries are restless. They would just as soon kill us as kill for us. We must be prepared to slaughter our own. We see Atreides attacking with Fremen. We see Harkonnen with the Death Hand. We see the Padishah Emperor is the root of it. His palace must be destroyed. Our saboteur will see to it. Three great armies in ruins. 
The portals control Arrakis. The spice. The universe. Finish it. That is the mission. The Gom Jabbar for the Sisterhood, Arrakis, the Empire. For me. Yes. One for me. No humanity remains in the Harkonnen of Gidi Prime. Only ruthlessness and brutality. Even their mentat is a Gola corpse, grown in a Tylaxan flesh vat. The Baron vows to cut the Ducal Ring from Leto's hand, and his atomic weapons give the threat new meaning. It is by the will alone I set my mind in motion. It is by the juice of Safu that thoughts acquire speed. The lips acquire stains. The stains become a warning. It is by the will alone I set my mind in motion. I am the Mentat Hate. You're new, aren't you? No heart plug. Don't let the Baron see you. I'm going to let you in on a secret. If only because you are a speck of Arakian dust, and I could kill you at any time without consequence. Things aren't going so well for the Harkonnen. Are we to sit back and watch as the Emperor gives away spice that is rightfully ours? Cheer as the Atreides take our Imperial Basin? Go, take some men and mine everything, and execute everyone who tries to stop you? And watch the worms. You have no use to us, dead. The Atreides have attacked our mining camp in the Imperial Basin. I personally, and stop me if this is just my thinking, do not wish to break news of a defeat to the Baron. You handle it. That is them. All of them. I spent the morning with the Baron, torturing an Atreides conscript. A bleeder. I have to say, it was an unbelievable mess. But, there is a new base at Seyat Tabea. It is rather poorly defended and must be. And I emphasize this must be attacked before it has time to fortify itself. Go! Destroy the Atreides forces. Of course our Fremen are spying on us, Baron. At least that's what our spies say. They're spying on us and attacking us and stealing our spice and... Attacked the mountain at dawn. If the Fremen base lies anywhere between there and the Sage to Bear, destroy it. If any other house attempts to intervene... <laughs> destroy them. You see that door? Behind that door is the Baron. Don't worry, he'll only kill you. You're not his type. Now, tell me what I want to hear. You stink like a corpse. I am a corpse, and so will you be soon enough. <laughs> Baron, dinner! Ugh! The Emperor has shown his hand. 
Guild Highliners orbit Arrakis, carrying legions of Sadukar terror troops, and the duplicitous Emperor himself. Duplicitous, of dual nature. Now, if the Sadukar fight with the Ordos, they could defeat us. However, until the Ordos destroy our last operational radar outpost, the liners cannot land undetected. Protect our radar outpost and keep those liners from landing. Then we will deal with the Ordos. Good! You fight like a Harkonnen! You bought us some time from the Sadukar, and our spies report the Ordos are falling back to the funeral plane. Plans within plans. Look closer. The Ordos are gathering strength, smuggling Ixian supplies and weapons to a hidden starboard on the funeral plane. What's this? A deviator. An Ixian weapon that will wreak confusion and disorder among our troops. On its way to the starboard. You must destroy the starboard before the Deviator destroys us all. My lord. Well, look what the worm dragged in. The famed Atreides Mentat. Nori Minea, On whose person we discovered a rather delicate correspondence regarding a high-tech Atreides factory which produces carryalls. Meant to carry all the Emperor Sadukar down to battle from the Polar region. Now, if we destroy the Atreides factory, we keep the Sadukar away from the battle. We strike the Atreides while the Sadukar are still on the march. Now that's why they call it Intelligence. <laughs> the Ordos are starting to annoy me. They've acquired, through a few well-placed bribes, no doubt, a lethal saboteur who can demolish a building with one blow. But their allies grow indifferent. The Atreides and the Fremen have their own battles to fight. And the Ordos, well, the Ordos are just so hard to love. Disable Leto's men and the Alliance will collapse. Left to themselves, the Ordos will fall. The Ducal Signet Ring of the House Atreides. The Baron is pleased and offers you a Duke's ransom in spice. If we are successful today, which we will be, the brave Sadukar are marching down from the Polar North on foot lost and divided by sandstorms, snacked upon by worms. <laughs> they know nothing of our atomic capabilities, nothing of the Death Hand. Now is our chance to seize Arrakis. the Sadukar. I want a full report. Sire, the shield wall has been breached. We must retreat. Retreat? I want a report. Sire, the shield wall is breached. The Sadukar will be slaughtered. We must retreat. Retreat? The Emperor of the known universe. Retreat? With victory in sight. Release the Sadukar. Sire! Release the Sadukar!
record the Trotto's Vegas basis. Two of months. Hollywood's finest actors have found themselves in the heat of a fierce battle for world domination. A battle where the only shots that are being fired are camera shots. World-renowned actor and voice of Star Wars Darth Vader, James Earl Jones, and actor Michael Bean, star of such films as Terminator, Aliens, and The Rock, have just completed shooting the latest installment in the hit CD-ROM interactive video game series, Command & Conquer. The multi-million dollar Command & Conquer Tiberian Sun from video game maker Westwood Studios is the third in the series that has already sold 10 million games worldwide. This is the first CD-ROM game venture for both Michael Bean and James Earl Jones. And the thrill for me is that I can relate to at least three generations. It's not King Lear, it's uh, Darth Vader or Lion King, you know. And uh, I don't like to limit how I make a living. I like, I like to try a lot of things, you know, not get pigeonholed. As far as the acting goes, no, I mean, the camera's the same, the sound's the same. You know, the lighting, the waiting, the, the you know, the call times, the... The caterer, the lunch. Filmed on location in Las Vegas and at Westwood Studios' own back lot, filming took three weeks, multiple sets, and a crew of more than 50. Set in the early 21st century, Command & Conquer Tiberian Sun will once again pit the evil Brotherhood of Nod against the good guys, the Global Defense Initiative, or GDI. We're just telling a story inside of the game, and we're just like, uh, le it seems to me what we're doing is we're leading the the game player up to a point and say, okay, now you take over, and they take over with the game plan. They cut back to me and go, whew, man, attacking that supply base is really tough. Now I think we should, uh, you know, go rescue Umagon. Cut, and we cut. Command and Conquer Tiberian Sun is due for release this fall, and then the future of our planet will lie in the skilled hands of the game players. But with big weapons and large caliber stars, I think we'll be okay. This is Eric Randall reporting. Yes, please.